All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakudas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, America was called the land of the free during slavery. Okay. Um, the, it's from an article. Okay. Um, I'm gonna read read it. Okay, it was written in uh, October the fifteenth, twenty seventeen. Okay, the meaning today is completely different from what it meant back in the eighteen hundreds. First, you have to understand the mindset of that era. It was pro-slavery. The author of the Star Spangled Banner was pro-slavery and viewed blacks as inferior and subhuman to whites. In the perspective of that era and the author, the land of the free are the American European settlers who are free from British rule and laws whom are whom were free to continue their culture of slavery their bread and water when the british had made it illegal home of the brave are the american european settlers whom were brave to challenge and take up arms against britain in order to preserve slavery regardless of the consequences the land of the free and home of the brave was very much the echo to a preservation of slavery, not just blacks, but Asians and Native American Indians. Okay, now, um, I'm going uh, to read some of these uh, comments from there. It says, I believe that the state motto of New Hampshire is live free or die. This phrase quoted comes from the U.S. National Anthem, it, the last line. It is similar to New Hampshire's state motto. It asserts that it takes brave people to establish a democracy where the citizens are free from tyranny, to overthrow the shackles of oppressive governments and systems take effort. The Bill of Rights of the U.S. Constitution delineates The freedoms U.S. citizens have that were not and still are prevalent in more, many, many societies and countries. Okay? It says from somebody named David Direct, it means the United States of America. We claim to be a land, the land of the free because men are free here to do whatever they wish. Okay? It says they still might want to consider the consequences of their actions, but they are still free to break the law, but they will be probably prosecuted if they do. Okay, which that's uh, what people claim to America to be, okay, the land of the free, which that's a, a lie. Okay, it says, we are the home of the brave because we feel that Americans are courageous as shown by the history of, of our pioneers who settled vast land, vast open lands, the phrase is meant to induce feelings of patriotism from the song it comes from to make Americans' hearts swell with pride whenever the band plays. Okay, now right here he said we claim to be the land of the free because men are free here to do whatever they wish. They still might consider the consequences of their actions. But they are still free to break the law, but they will probably be prosecuted if they do. Now, you have um, so-called blacks, okay, in America who uh, have been uh, following the law, okay? You know, the, the license to carry, okay? Being able to, you know, walk down the street. But guess what? They're still being prosecuted and um, killed. In America okay so uh, that whole land of the free okay you 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 have um, limitations you can go past those limitations but if you do you're going to get prosecuted 
that's that that's not what the meaning of land of the free means okay it means that america uh broke away from um the british rule okay that's what that's what it means okay now we get this revelation 18 and 6 reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she has filled filled to her double it's talking about America, okay? How much she has glory, glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she says in her heart, I should a queen, okay? And this is talking about America, okay? America in the scriptures is known as Babylon the Great, okay? And it says, I should a queen and am no widow, okay? Basically, I am I am free, okay, and the uh, you know Britain Britain is still around, okay, and America still is in uh, cahoots with uh, Britain, okay, so America has this I'm independent, I'm uh free, okay, this is the land of the free. We're free from Britain, but we still, you know, right there neck and neck with with uh, Britain, okay. It says, and shall see no sorrow. Okay? Because America doesn't think that it's going to be destroyed. If something was to go down, then, you know, they believe that they can get help from other uh, countries. Okay? Now, uh, this is Isaiah 47 and 8. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that saith in your heart, I am and none else beside me, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. In America, okay, they have uh, countries that that are owned from uh, America. Okay. Which is Puerto Rico, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands, uh, American Samoa. Okay, it says uh, U.S. has 16 territories. Okay, these are the children of, um, of America. Okay, so America has this mindset that they're not going to lose these countries that they have. Okay. It says, but these two things shall come to you in a moment and one day the loss of children and widowhood. Okay. Because these countries have nuclear missiles aimed at these, these uh, areas that America uh, has okay it says uh and 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 uh the eu is going to be destroyed too okay in world war three okay but it's not going to be destroyed like america is okay it says they shall come upon you in their perfection for the multitude of your your sorceries okay so all of these these places are going to be destroyed at the same time Okay, in, in less than an hour. And for the great abundance of your enchantments. Okay. And one of them enchantments is, you know, the lies that our people um, are following as far as America. Okay. Association, company, okay, band, okay. Which the word for enchantments is uh, Chabar. Okay. Shared association. Society. Okay. The society is under a spell from uh, America. And they make people think that it's the land of the free. The home of the brave. Okay. Even uh, slaves. When that that really doesn't have anything to do with you you us uh, black people being free, 
Okay. So, um, we we'll continue on. Okay, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an, have an ear, let him hear. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay? America led the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in, the, in captivity. Okay? And they're going to go into captivity. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? Now, here in America, you have this thing called patriotism. Okay, and that's a person who vigorously supports their country and is prepared to defend it against enemies or detractors. Okay, uh, nationalists, loyalists, savannists, okay, jingoist, and flag waver. Okay, so. Um, you you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, you vigorously support in this country, okay, when when the the laws that that are in this country doesn't necessarily apply to you, man, okay, the 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 whole statement of being um, free that doesn't apply to you, okay, when you go into what it actually means, okay. Ecclesiastes 5 and uh, 8. If thou seest the, the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, okay, marvel not at the matter. For he that is higher than the highest regards, and they there be higher than they. Okay? So, the Lord sees all of that, okay? The perverting of judgment in, here in America, okay? The oppression of the poor, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? So any of you you uh Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, you, you wanna, you know, feel patriotism to this country, okay, when this country wasn't wasn't built for you, it was built, you know, by us, you know, off the blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors, okay, which we are our ancestors. Okay, coming back in the reincarnation or regeneration. Okay. Any of you people who who support this country, this scripture goes to you. Okay. Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. Okay. So when the Lord, okay, regards the fact that America is oppressing his people. Okay, and he he goes to destroy America. Okay, those people who 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 love America and want to to stay here and um enjoy this life and and fight for this country, you're going to be found and 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 be killed with the sword. Okay, okay, that's why I say he that kills with the sword must be killed with the killed with the sword. Okay. So when when the so-called white man gets his judgment and you Negroes want to be coons and Uncle Toms and, you know, fight for them, okay, or with them, y'all going to be destroyed also, man. Okay? So with that, man, I want to say uh, Salawam.